even know what I'm going to say, but we're going to get into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y'all rocking with me? Okay. So let's do it. Make sure I look a little decent, okay? Yes, hey girl. All right, so today I wanted to talk about the importance of equally yoked relationships when you're in your early 20s, your 20s, when you're young, when you're single, whatever. Um, I think a lot of women can relate. A little bit about me is I am 22 years old. I'm in college graduating in two months okay one month actually not two months and I am single so I've dated you know here and there throughout my little time or whatever and um it has been challenging all right it's been a little challenging well very challenging and all of the guys that I've dated majority they were not equally yoked but there was also a time where I wasn't as close to God as I am now and I'm still I still fall short I'm definitely not per perfect and this is still a journey that I am pursuing and that I'm on so so when my life hit rock bottom I had to do a lot of self-reflecting and through that time of just trying to get myself back together and speak to God more um I noticed that the guys that I would date would always kind of pull me further from God and it would always kind of weigh on my heart and sometimes I would even avoid speaking to God because I kind of knew this person wasn't for me but I didn't want God to tell me no I didn't want God to say, no, this is not the person for you, especially if I felt like I really liked them. So I would just kind of like tiptoe, you know, I didn't really want God to tell me no. So I would still be pursued or in a way pursue the guy and it'll all go crashing down. And then I'm like heartbroken. Well, just my feelings are hurt and you know, it's back to square one or I'm feeling like a little scorned or things like that. And um, it's just a common pattern or a repeated pattern. And I just want to say, ladies, do not settle, okay? It is very hard, especially in this day and age in our generation. It just seems like men are like scarce in a way or it's hard to find like a guy that you like or this, that, and the third. But once you settle, you get less than what you settle for once you actually settle. So it's really just no point. Um, so yeah, it's one little story time or whatever. Um, so I was dealing with a guy and he he liked me and then initially I didn't really have an interest in him. I knew him from high school but I didn't have an interest in him. So eventually as we started getting to know each other, he was actually very inconsistent in the beginning. So that was already a red flag and that's one thing I would like to point out. like guys that are not for you you will get the red flags in the beginning and it's your choice to ignore them or take heed okay and a lot of times women ignore them because they don't want to seem or speaking from my experience but and others but yeah women ignore those signs because it's just like okay i don't know if i'm nitpicking or if this is actually like a red flag more often than not it's a red flag sis okay so yeah, he's very inconsistent in the beginning and you know there was times where I was just like tired of it because I wasn't I wasn't really invested in him to begin with but um I was just like you know what I want you to figure it out yourself leave me alone really and you know figure out your life kind of thing and it, I noticed throughout this whole situation which lasted months every time when I was telling him like I was done with it I want him to like 
focus on himself and leave me alone, that's when he will put in more effort than how he would before. Very manipulative and very confusing. And God is not a God of confusion, okay? There's times I prayed about it and I would ask God, I'm just like, God, is this the man for me? There's like a big wasp outside my window. But I was like, God, is this the man for me? Am I supposed to be patient? Am I supposed to help build with him? Because God, I'm also pursuing you and I'm also on this journey, but I don't know if I should be helping him as I'm trying to help myself. And you know, there's times where I feel like I just couldn't hear God really, or maybe I just didn't want to hear God. And it's just like, girl, all that energy you're putting into a guy, you should put that energy into pursuing God, period like point blank and it's just very hard especially when your feelings start getting involved it's hard to walk away from it but at the same time you can't keep beating a dead horse if you have to talk to a guy multiple times about something that you don't like that he does and he acts like he um understands or he acts like he's not going to do it again and then does it it's a slap in your face okay he's disregarding everything that you are telling him or he's just disregarding you in, in general if you have to beg and plead a guy to be consistent girl you should not if a guy really likes you he's going to be consistent he's going to have that desire to want to speak to you every day it doesn't have to be all day but even just to check in on you even just to tell you hey i'm probably gonna have a busy day but i wanted to say hi or have a good day like it's literally takes no energy and um for me it was just kind of hard for me to differentiate between me being cutthroat and just being like no i'm done and actually saying you know what i deserve more kind of thing so also in regards to just equally yoked relationships so yeah i'm trying to just make turn a new leaf um, there was a point in time where I was doing worldly things and you know I'm still on this journey like I said I'm not perfect and there's still things that I need to cut out of my life and I just want to be transparent because as I'm speaking to you all I'm also speaking to myself okay like I'm really still on this journey and I'm still a work in progress and I do want to just make videos with just my transitioning or when I say transitioning, like transitioning into more of a godly woman and, you know, doing better. Okay. I'm not perfect at all. Like this is really just like a beginning of me, of my journey, me trying to do better. Okay. Yes. That's what I say. Also, like... A guy should not lead you closer to sin and further away from God. If you are trying to pursue God and you notice a guy is like influencing you or trying to influence you to do other things, then it's probably best that you just let it go. You can pray for him. You can ask him like, you know, I do want to go on this journey and I would like for you to to be a part of it but you know no pressure kind of thing or you know i'm on this journey it's up to you if you want to join me or not but if he disregards your beliefs your faith your values because he wants to get in your pants or whatever the case may be that's also a sign that you should um let it go another thing is him disregarding your feelings i would always i remember being in this situation with this guy and you know i would try to just see where his mind is at or if i had an issue with something that he did um i would try to like bring it to him just concerns not even on no like i'm on 10 and i'm like yelling at him nothing really mature about it and he would just either ignore my message disregard it not respond until the next day and the next day is like what are you doing kind of thing I'm like really an f boy okay and to me, it was just like, okay, I understand that you may not want to speak about it, but I need you to acknowledge my feelings. I need you to acknowledge how I feel. And he just wouldn't really want to do it. The only time he would kind of want to have that 
conversation or a conversation which really wasn't is if I was about to just leave him alone girl a real f boy so yeah my girl been through some things but also and another thing is also he's just like if you get like a sneaky vibe from him all of these just show that this is not the partner God has destined you to be with. Okay, this is not your husband. You should not have to... No relationships are perfect, but you should not have to go through such things to, to find love or to be loved. Like, you should not have to suffer for God to see your worth. Like, seriously. And this is just something that I have to remind myself and know that I'm worth a lot more than a guy giving me, like, his bare minimum. And a guy treating me like I'm, like, a, I don't know. That is not me. So, even, like, consistency. If a guy is not consistent, like, just let it go. Unless something has occurred where he is not able to be as um, consistent. I understand everybody has their own problems and everybody goes through things separate. But if he is not able to communicate that with you, then it's just like, maybe it's time for him to focus on himself and you focus on yourself. So I just want us women to be able to just go to God and, you know, just bear it all in front of him if you have concerns about a guy ask god to reveal his true intentions ask god to reveal if this is the person you need to be with and if there's signs then you need to take heed you need to take it serious before you in invest years of yourself of your emotions of your body all of that into a guy that is not your husband also focus on your goals focus on yourself focus on achieving your goals any personal goals and you know make sure you're successful don't rely on a guy to help you get to where you need to go make sure you're also boosting yourself or helping yourself or improving yourself constantly okay a relationship is wonderful i'm sure it is but it's not that the end all be all it's not everything okay it so you can tell yourself like this is what I'm going to do there's no if ands or buts about it it's just it, it's a lot that goes into it and it's definitely not easy especially in this day and age where it's just like everything you see you see everybody in relationships everybody's having the time of their lives everybody's like whatever doing this that, and the third and it's just like you feel like you're missing out or you feel a little discouraged but i want to encourage women to want more for themselves and when i'm saying this i'm speaking to me as well i want women to want more for themselves i want them to set the bar and not lower their standards for god because any guy that really wants you and that sees a future with you will meet those standards none your standards are not too high okay if they're basic things like consistency reassurance a guy respecting your values and respecting you those are not they're not unattainable so <sighs> yeah um i do hope that i was able to reach somebody and touch somebody with this message i hope that i encourage every woman to just not settle to know that they are worthy to know that they deserve a love that doesn't involve them struggling or suffering in the beginning to know that a guy to, to know that there's a guy out there that's going to allow you to uh, and help you or whatever to get you closer to god okay you cannot try to force a piece of a puzzle to fit where it doesn't belong fix sis fix like you just can't stop forcing these relationships stop entertaining these f boys okay like you're just gonna run yourself ragged trying to find love where it doesn't exist and that's with these f boys okay sis i want to start a series 
just like to reach like a community of like us being sisters or even like me being a mentor or whatever but I want to like start this thing even if you guys want to send me um questions or advice you guys could send it to me I'll probably leave my email down below and um leave a comment let me know what you think or if you have a similar experience or you know whatever leave a comment below um like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye